FAQ number 71, did Jesus ever get married? Well, no. And yes. What? What are you talking about? Well, turn in your Bible to the book of John. And we will go to, uh, let's see, chapter 21, um, verse 24. This is the disciple which testifieth of these things and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, the which, if they should be written, every one, I suppose that every, even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. And, of course, you know, then the, the wicked devils out there, these, these horrible, you know, people that are always trying to find some kind of loophole, they say, well, see, many other things which Jesus did, the which, if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. So, therefore, Jesus could have done all kinds of other stuff that's not mentioned in the Bible, you know. And so it's like a uh, very, very weak argument. But what happens to Jesus Christ? After the crucifixion, after he's resurrected from the dead, he's, he's walking around, he's talking to his disciples, giving them orders uh, for what to do. Let's look at the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 1. The former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach unto, until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, Ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Okay, so what happened with Jesus? Well, he was there. He gave him orders and everything else, and when he was done, he went back up to heaven. Now, where does it say he got married? And see, you know, some of these uh, new versions, I forget which one it is, but one of the new versions, I remember hearing that it actually says, instead of a cloud received him out of their sight, it says, and he departed. So it actually gives credence to this thing that Jesus went some other place and hooked up with Mary Magdalene and the two of them went out and they became New Age masters in India someplace and had a whole bunch of children. You know, uh, that's stupid, okay? And again, it's, you know, some of these new versions, you know, kind of lean that way because they're written by Satanists. But uh, the point is, your King James Bible says he was there, came up from the dead, you know, showed himself alive by many infallible proofs, gave them their commands for the things that they're supposed to do, and he went back up to heaven in Acts chapter 1. It doesn't say anything about him getting married. You say, well, maybe he got married and then he went back up to heaven. And then he abandoned his wife, you know, and his children or something. It's nonsense. And you see this whole thing, you know, you can get into this occult teaching that Jesus Christ had a wife and they, they had children and that this, this seed is there and it's, you know, eventually going to be the Antichrist, essentially, uh, the Holy Grail thing and all this stuff. You can get into all that. It, it's occultism. It's Satanism. Again, these occultists try to come up with these satanic theories to try and set the stage for the Antichrist to come and, oh, he's a descendant of Jesus and stuff like this and the, the 13th bloodline and the Illuminati and all this other bunch of satanic nonsense. But you say, well, then Jesus never got married. But why did you say yes at the beginning? You said no and yes. Because his marriage doesn't happen until the future. Turn your Bible to Revelation chapter 19. Revelation chapter 19. 
And after these things I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. That's when Roman Catholicism goes down and we're up there throwing a party. Can't wait for that time. And uh, verse 3, And again they said, Alleluia, and her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. Okay, I'm not going to keep reading here, but uh, it goes down through, jump down to verse 7. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And it goes down through there. Okay, so... You know, well, I'll read verse 9 because this is important. And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Okay, so the marriage happens in heaven. Jesus Christ does get married in the future. And it is a symbolic marriage of him marrying the church, the body of Christ. You can read about that in Ephesians chapter 5. You know, likening Christ as a husband the church as the bride. Right? So the bride of Christ uh, does get married to him. We are one flesh. We are joined to Jesus Christ. Bone of his bones, flesh of his flesh. And so, you know, and, and there's a whole lot of other symbology in the Bible. Adam and Eve, you know, and things. You know, Adam is, you know, has a rib come out of his side to make his, his bride. Jesus Christ is punctured in the side with a spear to make his bride, you know, when he dies on the cross. A lot of really neat symbology there. And um, Eve is deceived. Adam decides to die with her. You know, we as Christians or we as, we as people have been deceived and, and are in sin. But Jesus Christ, our husband, has died for us. You know, a lot of neat symbology. But the point is, Jesus Christ does get married in the future. But it's not that he was married way back when and, and went off and his seed is going to become the Antichrist or something. That's just occult Satanism is all that is. There's nothing in the Bible about that. Again, all these attacks, it's like, well, this writer here, and we have this historical source here, but what does the Bible say? See, it all goes back to Scripture. People can't show you this stuff in Scripture, so just say, I'm sorry. Oh, but I have all these, these extreme facts from history, and I don't believe them. Okay? Is it in Scripture? What does the Bible say? If you can show me in Scripture where Jesus Christ had a bride walking around with some woman that he was dating in the Gospels, and then later on they get married. If you can show me that from the King James Bible, okay, then maybe I'll believe it. But it's not in there. Okay, so I don't believe it. And the interesting thing, though, about this is that Jesus Christ, when he does have his bride, I'll just say this yet in you know, closing on this one. We get married in heaven, and what do you do after a marriage? We've got to have a reception. Where does he have the reception? Well, he drives down to the earth and slaughters the Antichrist and the false prophet and their 200 million men army. Then he goes in, judges the nations, and then we have the marriage supper of the Lamb, I believe, is down on the earth. And it's interesting, I did a whole study on this. Again, you can watch this study on the marriage supper of the Lamb. But it's interesting because Satan actually, I believe, shows up in that, you know, at that marriage supper. And he's, they grab him and they bind him and they cast him into the bottomless pit. You can read about that in Revelation chapter 20. Very interesting stuff. But um, then we have the honeymoon for a thousand years, ruling and reigning with Jesus Christ on the earth. So it's going to be a really neat time in the future. But uh, Jesus will get married, but he was not married in the past.